All right, so if there's one thing you guys know about me, it's the fact that I don't really mind sawing at just about anything, if it's gonna help or benefit me. And if you watched the video where I talked about the folks over at Changing Lanes where they have the same bed cover as me, the Axis bed cover, and these rails kind of protrude a little bit too far into the bed, their pin box is making contact right about this point, about a foot back from your center stake pocket, and then about two feet back total. So in their video, I looked at where that contact was likely happening, and I took a sawzaw and I cut this part of my bed cover off. So I'm gonna pull the roll bed cover portion back just to see if it'll still rest on the rails, which it should but um, I gotta do this to both sides, so we'll see how this turns out. And then I might have to modify this top rail piece right here where the Velcro is just down a little bit so there's no contact that's potentially made there as well. Yep, and even with the bed cover rolled back, it's still about three quarters of an inch sitting on this piece here, which means they could probably design this a little bit different so these rails don't protrude in so far. They're about two inches in, they could make it more like an inch and lower this portion right here by about three quarters of an inch and you likely wouldn't have any type of clearance issues with the majority of fifth wheel pin boxes that you have. But I'm now gonna cut this piece off right here and do the same thing, see how it works. What's going on guys? I know a lot of people were anticipating this video. If you didn't watch the video a few months back where I showed you this product and what it's capable of doing, you might wanna check that video out as well. Basically, this is a Sureline trailer tongue weight scale. This is designed to provide you how much tongue weight is being transferred to your truck whenever you're loading up either a gooseneck or a fifth wheel. This specific product is really designed for a fifth wheel because of the little cradle it has here for the fifth wheel kingpin to drop into. However, I showed a way that you could actually measure the weight of a gooseneck as well. So check out that previous video if that's something you're interested in looking at definitely not quite as safe as if you're doing it to a fifth wheel simply again because this is designed specifically for a fifth wheel however i know a lot of people want to know one big question that is what is the tongue weight of this enormous 43 foot long Van Lee beacon by tiffin fifth wheel 42 rdb this is a huge full profile fifth wheel 8,000 pound axles h-rated tires and they publish about 3,500 pounds being transferred to the truck. Well, this is completely dry right now. We don't have anything inside of this that would add any weight to it other than what's been installed from the factory, and that is the own-in generator up front. But I am very interested in seeing exactly how much weight is gonna be transferred to the back of my truck by this fifth wheel. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. So looking back at the scale, you can see that it maxes out at 5,000 pounds. What they publish is about 3,500 pounds worth of weight being transferred. And again, this trailer is pretty much bone stock. It doesn't have any of our supplies in it yet. It's not loaded down for travel. And when it is, that's significantly more weight because most of the weight you add is generally in front of the axles. It goes more towards the bathroom, the bedroom, the basement storage area and such. But let's see how much tongue weight this specific trailer transfers to the back of my truck in stock form. So the first thing you have to do is remove this little piece of wood that's wedged in right here. All that's supposed to do is prevent the scale from decalibrating itself or eventually leaking with the weight of this top cup pressing down on it constantly. So you're just supposed to put that little piece of wood inside of there when you're not using the scale. Now, this piece right here is generally screwed in right here. So it's all one compact little portable setup. Again, do not pull that out. I know you see that. That is not designed for a user to pull out. If you do that, you will damage the scale and likely void your warranty. This is going to screw into the bottom right here. And once that screws in, this simply drops into your fifth wheel hitch and then you clamp your jaws shut around it. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so I am in the bed of my truck at my fifth wheel hitch. I'm simply gonna take this, drop it down. I'll put this eh, probably flat, close the jaws around it, and then I'm gonna pin the jaws in place so it doesn't come out. And this is clamped securely around like a kingpin would be whenever you're completely hitched up. Now, all I'm gonna have to do is back this underneath the fifth wheel's kingpin and lower it down on top of this cup. So this should be a relatively safe process. Let's see how it goes.
Okay, so you may be asking why I'm not removing that little cheap master lock I have around the kingpin. Well, I don't need to because it's not going to actually interfere with the process of checking the measurement or the weight of this fifth wheel, simply because it's not in an area that that cup will interfere with at all. I need to raise the fifth wheel up pretty high, and that's probably the single biggest downfall of this system is that you have to lift your fifth wheel up pretty high to get it over that cup. And in the process of doing so, you might take away a little bit of accuracy because you'll be transferring some weight to the back of the trailer when you do that. But it should still be pretty accurate. Okay, so here's the problem I have, and you can probably see it. I can't raise the fifth wheel high enough to actually get the kingpin over that cup. It sits about six inches higher than the plate of the fifth wheel hitch, and I just don't have that type of adjustability with the front landing gear on this RV. I'm probably a good four inches shy of it, which means I'd have to put some pretty big spacer plates underneath each one of the legs, and I'd be leaning the back pretty far back on this fifth wheel to do that. So that's a challenge, and one that I don't know if I'm gonna to try to overcome right now, simply because, again, I'm gonna to have to raise the front of the fifth wheel up pretty high to get it to clear, and then the problem is, is getting it back off. So definitely something that I wanna think about doing before I actually attempt to do it. It's too bad because I really wanted to see what the actual you know, pin weight of this specific fifth wheel was, and their scale is just a bit too high. That's the problem. You gotta get higher than the scale, of course, and then you need to be able to bring it down and center it on top of the scale, which is something I really can't do right now. If I drop the fifth wheel down, the normal hitch height is right about here. Actually, it's still too high. So I have to drop this thing down significantly to get it to the point of where it would normally hitch up, which is right about there. So again, their system's just a little too high. It's not necessarily what I would consider to be ideal if you want to check the pin weight of a fifth wheel. That's something you might need to work on. And I really don't know a way around that again without really lifting up the front of your fifth wheel. And the big problem with lifting up the front of your fifth wheel is when you do that, you're transferring weight to the back and it's going to throw off what your overall weight is here. Ideally, the best way to do this would be to make a stand for that scale that can position it right at the correct height of your traditional fifth wheel hitch and then lower it onto that. And I think that would be better. Of course, it'd have to be a pretty robust stand that's capable of holding, you know, upwards of 4,000 plus pounds because you definitely want a safety margin in there. Um, I like the product and it worked really well for the gooseneck because of course the gooseneck hitches up at a much lower level and I can take the ball out and this essentially replaces the ball. It might be two inches higher than a normal gooseneck connection. But on a fifth wheel, you only have so much room to play with when it comes to your front landing gear. And this isn't something that I can honestly recommend only because there's no feasible way to connect it with the amount of room you would need. Unless, again, I put some pretty tall blocks underneath the front here, and by doing so, it would position some of the weight towards the back, and that's not exactly what I'm trying to do. I wanna see specifically how much weight is resting on the actual back of the truck, and I would rather have it nose low only because it would transfer a little bit more weight, and that would give me more of a realistic, you know, worst case scenario of how much weight could transfer to the vehicle. Very cool product, needs a little bit of work in terms of how it can execute its desired goal effectively because, again, I don't have six inches of space to play with when it comes to raising the fifth wheel high enough to get it on top of that. And if I could raise it that high, it would throw my numbers off a bit, and that's not something I wanna do. Guys, I'd love if you left a comment below Really great product. What do you think they could do to improve it to make it work a little bit more conveniently with this type of setup? Let me know in the comments below. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll be back really soon.